Vicky, and I'm from a community organisation called Bread and Butter. We teach the basic life skills of cookery and healthy, independent, sustainable living. In this video, I'm going to help demystify food labels. I'm going to explain why we have them, how to read them, and I'm going to give you some top tips to consider when buying your food. So why do we have food labels? They are there to tell us what ingredients are in our food and at what quantity. So when reading the ingredients, did you know that they are listed in order of concentration? So the first ingredient is the main ingredient. For example, in this package of porridge, the ingredient listed first is not surprisingly oats. However, some of the ingredients listed in other products may well surprise you. For example, in this packet of Oreo biscuits, sugar is listed first. This packet has its information written in many languages, which makes it even more tricky to find out what you're looking for. Sugar is a product to be very wary of because it can come in many different forms and will therefore be listed under different names. So take these two cereals, for example. In this product, you will see that sugar is listed twice. Sugar also appears in the form of glucose and fructose syrup. Sugar is also a form of starch, so here it's featured again. In this cereal, sugar appears, and it also appears in the form of molasses and honey. So this begs the question of how much sugar is actually in these products. How do we know? We need to look at the nutritional information label. You will find these generally on the back of a product, or you might find it on the side of the product. For this Oreo cereal, you can see that a small bowl of 30 grams of cereal contains 8.1 grams of sugar, which is equivalent to two teaspoons. For the Crunchy Nut Cornflakes packet of cereals, you can see that the amount of sugar in one bowl is 11 grams of sugar, which is equivalent to three teaspoons of sugar. Now this is all well and good, but what does this quantity actually mean? How much is healthy and how much is too much? So to help us understand this, food packaging will include a food label situated on the front of their packaging. And this is called a traffic light food label. Red is high in quantity, amber is medium, and green is low in quantity. So for these two products that contain between eight and 11 grams of sugar in each small bowl of cereal at 30 grams, you'll see that the amount of sugar is labeled in red, which is not ideal. Really, we want to be eating cereals and all food where the label is ideally all green, just like on this shredded wheat. A simple way to translate the traffic light system is green, eat plenty, amber, eat in moderation, and red to eat very occasionally. For the recommended amount of salt, sugar and fat consumption for children, visit the Change for Life pages on the NHS website. It isn't compulsory to include a traffic light food label, and sometimes it isn't included in colour, which makes it harder to understand. For a quick reference, you can download the Change for Life food scanner app, so you've always got it handy on your phone. There are so many products in the supermarket, they are all competing with each other for our purchases, which means they will label their food in enticing ways for us to buy them. They often incorporate healthy messages, such as low fat, no added sugar, sugar free, no fat, or perhaps use words natural or natural images to make the product look more appealing. Let's look at low fat products first. To create a low fat product, some or all of the fat has been removed. And in doing so, this lessens the taste. To overcome this, manufacturers often increase the level of sugar. So take these two yogurts, for example. In this natural yogurt, there is 4.9 grams of sugar. This is naturally occurring sugar found from the lactose in the milk. This is not added sugar. And in this vanilla yogurt, there is 14 grams of sugar, which is nearly four times as much as the natural yogurt. And the majority of this is from the added sugar. When people want to lose weight, they often reach for low fat products. However, both fat and sugar can cause weight gain. So when buying food products, always look for the quantities of both. What we recommend is always trying to look for natural products that haven't been altered in the factory. Manufacturers use sugar-free as a selling point. But although there isn't any sugar included, it has simply been replaced with a sweetener instead. 
Sweeteners still cause an increase in blood sugar levels. And again, too much can lead to weight gain and other issues. Also, eating food containing lots of sweeteners means that your body is still eating sweet things. And therefore, your body will continue to crave this sweetness. So you're more likely to overconsume on sugar. No added sugar means that no artificial sugar has been added to your product. However, this doesn't mean that it doesn't contain any sugar. Take these yogurts for example, that are promoting themselves as light and free with 0% fat and 0% added sugar. However, when we look at the nutritional information, we can see that one yogurt pot contains 7.1 grams of sugar. So that's nearly two teaspoons of sugar. Now this is coming from the natural sugars found in the strawberry and within the lactose in the milk. However, if you look at the ingredients, you can see that sugar is appearing in the form of oligofructose, in the form of starch, potato and tapioca, and in the form of modified maize starch. And this product also contains the sweeteners. People associate healthiness with natural products. Manufacturers will therefore often use images of natural things to help promote their product. Take this cereal bars, for example. It includes images of fresh fruit. It also highlights some good aspects of this product. It has a tick for whole grain, a tick for a source of fiber. It also tells us here that, that there are no artificial flavors, colors or preservatives. However, this is very much a distraction from the fact that these cereal bars are red for sugar, containing as much as 10%. I hope you have found this video useful. And remember, don't be misled by marketing messages. Be knowledgeable, read the labels, make the right decisions.